who came up with Planet of the Apes. For the next section, Jambo, we're going to talk about the origins of the Planet of the Apes franchise. Who came up with the story? How it then went on to spawn the pop culture behemoth we know and love today. Does that work for you? Sounds brilliant. I'm excited. Excellent stuff. So, Jambo, the Planet of the Apes franchise now includes 10 films, a TV series, an animated series, a behind-the-scenes documentary, several comic adaptations, and four video games. But can you guess the format of the original story? The format of it? What was the original story? How, how was it presented? Okay. Where what, did it come from? What was it? I, I actually cannot guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would guess correctly on this. Oh, it's not too hard. Is it, a, is it a film? It's not a film. What oh. do most films come from? A book. A book. Okay. Correct. Novel. Excellent. Cur- first time. <laughs> I've literally put, by the way. It's a, I've, I've, can you guess what it came from? Novel? Correct. <laughs> the worst thing is as well, it's a French book, I know. We, <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. As is often the case. Oh, well, you're... you're <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on thought on that. I as, just is often, as is often the case, the story is adapted from a novel that came out in 1963. But Jambo, we- can you tell me which language the book was originally published in? I don't know, Freddie. Was it American? French, that oh, is. wow. To be fair, I have put that is right. So I presumed you had read that much. Right, okay. That's good. The original novel is actually French. Written by Pierre Boulle. Le Pla... <laughs> <laughs> Pierre Bull. Bull. Yeah, yeah. La Planète des Songes follows the story of a French journalist who has taken on a pleasure cruise in space and lands on the eponymous planet. I found it really interesting when looking into this that the original story is French. Is this something that you'd come across? Uh, actually, I did, I wasn't aware of that fact, Freddie. No, I've, uh, you, fair enough. Yeah, so, no, I so heard how that did it was. You, how, how did you read about that then? Yeah, um, I think it was. I think I was just researching a trivia thing, and mm. it was just like I was trying to get as big a collection of facts under my belt, and I'd come across the 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 title of the original book. Have you I, heard of Pierre Boulle? No. Very interesting fella. Okay. Boulle was an engineer serving as a secret agent with the Free French in Singapore. Free French, do you know anything about those? Nope. I didn't before reading a bit about this guy, but essentially um, during the Second World War, when France got um, taken over by Germany, uh, Charles de Gaulle, who was a kind of military figure in France, escaped and, and created like a Free France. And it's essentially right, like, okay, kind of like a not a puppet state, but you know, like the, we're the real de facto France, whilst right. Germany rules over and, a fake and France. Were they located in Singapore? They were located all across the world. Right. So I think Charles de Gaulle spent a lot of time in London, but I think they ended up setting up shop in Algeria. Yeah, okay. At one point later on, um, but yeah, uh, Pierre was working there. Uh, he actually got. Um, he got captured and subjected to two years forced labor and so he used those experiences to create another book called bridge on the river kwai have you heard of that it it sounds like i have but i wonder if there's a lot of word plays on it it's i don't know about word play maybe i've just heard of it then it's a very very famous film yeah i feel (laughs) like i do basically this guy who was a international secret agent who got captured during uh, world war ii went on to then create two books yeah. that spawned the amongst Planet the most famous the yeah so bridge on the river Kwai won like seven oscars and it's one of the fifth wow. one of the great films of the 1950s um it's responsible for uh the um oh yeah you know that little whistling ditty yeah, that's from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also famous for one of your, an actor from one of your absolute favourite films. His name is Alec Guinness, and he played 
Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, <laughs> in, yeah, 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 in the yeah, original yeah, Star Wars, that, that film. <laughs> and um, yeah, that one is one that we will have to watch for this as part of our classic series because I it's so. something I've never watched. I'm really excited to watch, and I didn't know that this guy basically okay. two incredibly famous stories he, he's had. Has he written any other things? I think that those two were very much the high points, but they came quite far apart because Planet of the Apes was written in '63. The film for Bridge on the River Choir came out in 57, I think. Okay. So the book came out, you know, maybe like five years before. So you're yeah, talking, right. he's basically bookended, a, a, you know, a period yeah. of writing with two films that went on to become two books, mega, yeah, right. mega franchise. And and also, like, he also happened to be a secret agent yeah, 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 <laughs> who yeah, got right. captured and was in a forced labor camp. <sighs> so I'm guessing uh, he died quite a while back then, did he? Is he not? Not someone we could get on the podcast at any point. No, I think Pierre Boulle is Pierre. Has <laughs> been. Yeah, Pierre has been. <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, he is uh, brown bread. Yeah, okay. Interesting fellow, though, that. Yeah, I, yeah, wow. That's I read a about wild life. life. Whenever you read about someone who you hadn't heard of, who'd written a, a very famous book, and then you look into them and they've they've written something else that you have heard of. You're like, wow, yeah. that's really interesting because they're two very different stories. And then you add into the mix that they're also, oh, by the way, he was a secret agent <laughs> <laughs> who got captured in the war. God.